Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to your weekly Tau forecast for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the sun. Very nice. Okay. So the sun does represent the sign of Leo. So there could be some Librans dealing with a Leo. Um, but if not, I mean, this is some amazing energies. For some of you who are in the spotlight, you could definitely be shining bright this week. You might be in the spotlight for some Librans. For other Librans, I mean, this is, this is happiness. This is content. This is success. So... For some of you, you might be coming through quite successful when it comes to a particular matter. Um, for other Librans, you might be healing. You could be healing um, physically. With the sun here, this is maybe you having an increase in energy. This is vitality. Um, there certainly could also be some Librans that maybe you're spending more time in the, in the sunshine. Um, you could be traveling to a warmer cli a climate this week with the sun. Um, what's interesting is the overall energy is actually the lover's card. So you do have a few majors here. Uh, and, and the lover's card represents the sign of Gemini. So for some of you, it could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, and then for some other Librans, there could be a Gemini that's quite significant. But the lover's card for me um, represents a decision, a choice that is needed. So with the lover's card being the overall energy for the week, for many of you, you are maybe making a decision. A decision or a choice is quite significant. So maybe you have to make a decision or for other Librans, you could be hearing a decision. A decision could be very significant. Um, for other Librans, of course, there could be a partnership, a relationship that's quite significant this week. This is, uh, for me, the Lover's card represents a very physical, passionate relationship. So there could be some Librans that, you know, maybe you're in a relationship or you're getting into a relationship with someone where there is a very strong physical attraction, a lot of chemistry there. Uh, and that's being confirmed because we do also have the Ace of Wands here, which is the most passionate card within the entire deck for me. So, you know, on the relationship front, for many of you, I mean, this is really, really good. No matter if you're already partnered or, um, you know, if you are getting into a relationship or maybe dating someone, there's this very, very strong physical attraction here. And with the Page of Cups here, I certainly see some Librans getting into a relationship. Um, this is a nice lighthearted energy um, for some of you, you know, this could be the very early stages of this of this relationship. Um, and you could be hearing something with the page of cups, you know, there could be some good news that's coming through, there could be a lot of communication going on between you and another person. But I see many of you emotionally actually in a really good place. Um, I see you optimistic. We have the Three of Wands here with the, the Star card. So I think that some of you are healing from past matters. I see some of you definitely emotionally healing. And with the Star, I see you um, very optimistic and hopeful. Uh, and moving forward you know, optimistically. Uh, I see some of you growing um, with the three of wands here. Our threes represent growth and expansion, progress being made. And I think that some of you just in general, uh, I think that you're overcoming some difficulties. And I think that you're actually maybe seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Something is in inspiring you or something is giving you hope. And uh, I think that some of you are actually maybe simply moving forward with your life or you know, you're just very hopeful. And for some of you, again, this is maybe a relationship, a person, you know, could have come into your life and you might've been dealing with some other difficulties and maybe this person has come in and, you know, they're, they're really making you happy. You could be moving forward for some of you are getting into a relationship. This is something taking root, the very early stages of some wonderful relationship that's developing a very passionate uh, relationship for, for many of you, if you are getting into a relationship, um, you know, there could be an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Leo. That's quite significant. The star represents the sign of Aquarius. 
Um, for some of you, this is what you're moving towards. I think that you've been dealing with some difficulties and this could really be on any on any um, front, relationship front. You know, this could be financial as well for some of you, but I think that you've been dealing with some difficulties and you're now actually moving away um, from those difficulties. You're actually moving towards some sort of wish come true with the star, this is wish fulfillment. But it's also you very much being divinely guided. So uh, I see many of you being divinely guided towards some sort of new beginning with the Ace of Wands, something that is really exciting. Now, for those of you that this isn't a relationship, this is an exciting new beginning. For some of you, maybe something that you're passionate about. Um, this could be a creative project for some of you. This could be a new home. Um, maybe there are some Librans that you're moving to a nice sunny um, destination here, a warmer climate. So for some of you, this is maybe you moving house. Also, there could be some Librans that you're starting a new job. Uh, and I say that because we do have the Five of Pentacles here with the Knight of Swords. And I think that some of you, this is what you're leaving behind um, with the Five of Swords here. This was you dealing with some sort of financial hardships or a feeling of lack. It could be a lack of financial security, but you were dealing with some sort of challenges for some of you financial, uh, but now you're moving away from that here. So for those of you that this isn't financial, this could have been within a relationship. Um, you could have been in a relationship that wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you. And now I see you moving forward because you have the five of pentacles with the eight of cups here, which for some of you, this is you emotionally moving forward. You are leaving something behind that you did invest a lot in emotionally, but now you're moving forward. And, you know, unfortunately I have to mention it, uh, there, there could have been some Librans that maybe you were already in a relationship and quite possibly maybe you met someone else because we have the Lover's card here and then the Seven of Swords, which can both indicate uh, a situation uh, involving three people. And then we also have the Three of Wands here. So uh, for a very small number of you, this is like a love triangle or a situation involving three people. But what I'm really getting for you is that you are possibly in a relationship and maybe your partner left you with the five of pentacles. This can be you feeling abandoned for some of you. So for some of you who are in a, in a relationship and maybe someone just literally left you and because you felt all alone, um, you know, you might've met someone or someone maybe from your past could have come back. Um, but this is you maybe pursuing a relationship with a third party. And then for other Librans, you might have been in a relationship that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. There was definitely something lacking here. So now maybe you're moving on, you're leaving that relationship. You could per be pursuing a relationship with a third third person. This is also a very risky energy. Uh, the Seven of Swords, of course, is a sneaky energy. It can be a deceptive energy. Um, someone trying to get away with something. Um, but I feel like for, for other Librans, this is you maybe taking some sort of risk. You're moving forward with the Knight of Swords energy. You might be doing this. You might be in a little bit of a hurry here, um, but I think it's because you felt abandoned or you felt this lack. You're leaving a challenging situation or relationship behind, and this might be a bit of a gamble, but you are moving forward. Um, so it's just going to be how, you know, it depends on how you relate to these energies, Libra. You know, it's not going to be the same for all of you. Um, for some of you, this was you dealing with some financial hardships, um, maybe working for a company. There was, you know, no room for advancement. Um, so this is you maybe taking a risk here and moving forward. Maybe some of you are starting your own business. For other Librans, you could be hearing a decision maybe in regards to uh, a new job here because there's something new that you're starting and it's and it's exciting and you do have this tremendous amount of healing energy that's with you with the sun and then the star here these are two very powerful major arcanas so um, very interesting reading it's actually a very positive reading um, I like seeing this for you I can see that yes yeah, some of you have dealt with some difficulties but I also see that you're now moving away from those difficulties for some of you you do need to make a decision here listen to your intuition uh, for some of you you need to follow your heart um, but a decision might be very significant here emotionally Emotionally, I see things improving. So emotionally, I think it's going to be a good week for you. Um, I see this nice, uh, lighthearted 
you know, I'm very happy, uh, very positive energy that's with you. I see many of you just healing and, and, and moving towards just being really happy in a really, really good place. Um, for some of you are moving towards some sort of wish come true. Um, for those of you that were struggling financially, there could be this opportunity that's coming to you and you need to take that risk. So, you, so for some of you, you might feel like this is a big gamble, maybe leaving a job or something like that. But you need to move forward you need to take this risk um, because you have this exciting new beginning that's coming through that i feel is going to lead to great happiness all right so let me pull you an additional guidance card libra all right wow look at this we have sonia i don't see sonia too often I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So I believe she came out last week, and then now again this week for this weekly, um, for these weekly forecasts. But I don't see her too often. I couldn't tell you besides last week when the last time was that that I've seen her. So, you know, this is pretty amazing. So no matter if you've had someone pass on recently. Libra or maybe many years ago and maybe you just have been thinking about this person some of you might have been worrying about this person but this person is with you and they're coming through so there's no need to worry this is beautiful okay Libra so I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do wish you a wonderful week take care